Hi everybody, this is Mario Hernandez and today we're going to talk about installing a module called CSS Injector and the purpose of this module is to allow us to quickly edit our CSS styles right on the browser. Uh, this is helpful to sometimes uh, try quick changes on your styles of, and before you commit in to your uh, website for um, as a final uh, style uh, you may want to uh, quickly edit them on the browser and once you've uh, you're happy with those changes then you can save them to your uh, CSS style sheet and, and then make those changes permanent uh, also if you're working if you happen to be working on a computer that doesn't allow you to install modules or, or any other type of software if, if you have restriction because of your organization um, uh, this will be a perfect module to use because uh, you don't need to install anything on your local computer it's all done through a module on Drupal so let's get started the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go to uh, drupal.org and uh, we're going to do a quick search here uh, under modules and do CSS injector. I already know the path of this module, but I just to let you know how you would be able to find it. And I can see that uh, it's this one here. And you can read through the module here to, to let you know what, what are the things you can do. But this time we're going to quickly just go to the download section and click the tar file because I'm using a Mac. But if you're using a Windows, you can download the zip file and uh, just uh, click the uh, download button and I'm going to quickly just um, right here my desktop there CSS injector I'm going to use the tar extension and uh, my file has been uh, downloaded so I'm going to uh, you can't see it here let me actually let me go to here I'm going to go to my desktop and I see the file right there so I'm going to double click this file to extract uh, you know the files within this uh, tar file and now I get a CSS injector folder so I'm going to uh, copy this folder I'm gonna go to my uh, web servers root folder which is located under applications MAMP htdocs but I have a shortcut right here but in your case you will go into applications if you're using MAMP uh, or Mac and go to MAMP and in here you find this folder called htdocs and today we're working with this Drupal here, the Drupal folder, which is our Drupal website. So I'm going to go into that folder and go into sites. Any custom modules or themes that you install, you will go into the sites folder, go to all modules. And I already saved the CSS injector folder that we had uh, downloaded. Uh, so it's ready for us to go. Uh, so the next thing to do is go to my Drupal website, which I have here running, and I'm going to go to the modules section and I'm going to collapse the core modules and uh, now I see the CSS injector module I'm going to check the box save configuration and uh, my module is ready if I go to configuration now and I sc scroll down to the development section here I see the CSS injector module right there I, I'll, I'll click that module and right now there are no rules or, or styles basically so I'm going to create a new rule a new rule is basically you can create multiple rules based on some of the things that you want to do with CSS in our case uh, I'm going to create a rule just to start showing some of the changes you can make with CSS and CSS injector uh, but you can create different rules you know you can create a rule for a style in your navigation for example you can create a rule for styling your header or your footer so each of those elements can have individual rules or you could create one global rule that will, where you will be able to add all your styles for all your elements in your website it's all up to you in this case I'm going to create a rule I'm going to create a global rule and uh, I'll come back to this section in a little bit uh, it says uh, add on every page uh, except the pages listed and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say I want my rule to be applied to all the pages except any pages where uh, uh, in, in, except any page in the admin section uh, because the admin section is which is where we are right now already has a theme already in place and style so we don't want to make uh, changes to that so by putting the admin asterisk that tells us that any page that starts with the word admin uh, will not inherit this rule and uh, uh, pre-process CSS I'm not sure what that means to be honest with you but I'm going to go ahead and save this and right now obviously uh, it requires us to have content here so I'm going to start with the uh, one global change 
I'm gonna say for the body uh, color just to, as an example I'm gonna say I'm gonna make the color of the text on our website to be red and I'm going to save this and if I go to my home page you can see that the text on our website now is red uh, the blue uh, the rest of the text is text that is got special uh, styles applied to them or are links and links are usually by default blue but anything that is just text or doesn't have a specific custom style will inherit a rule so let's go back to our CSS injector and continue to add a couple more changes CSS injector and what I would recommend is I'm gonna go to edit rule this time because I already have a rule in place and I want to continue to work on that rule so I'm going to edit the rule so what I'm going to suggest is that um, you create a shortcut for the rules that you're working on so I can click on add uh, default shortcuts and what this is gonna do is gonna add a nice shortcut here for me where I can just quickly uh, come back if I go home for example I can just quickly kill click here and edit this uh, rule it take me right there into the rule so I'm going to um, have nice that nice shortcut there so let me go and make a little more change here what, what can I change here uh, I can say on the body actually my link and a link styles I'm going to say I'm going to change this um, the color of those to be um, let's say yellow and uh, text decoration none and just for to show that this is working I'll say text transform uppercase and I'm going to save the rule and before I do I'm going to actually open no I'm going to go ahead and do that so I'm just gonna save the rule um, and if I go to the home page now you can see that uh, my links are now yellow and they're an uh, uppercase so this tells me that the rules that I'm applying uh, are working and uh, one thing I would recommend is um, so you don't have to keep coming out of the edit page for your rules here for example if you go back to the uh, rules here uh, if you don't want to come keep coming back here going home and coming back what you could do is you can open uh, a new browser like uh, if you have more than one browser in your computer you can open another browser and open your website on that other browser so you can keep this window open here and on the other browser you can just be refreshing so you can see the changes happening as you make the rule changes that's just a recommendation so anyways uh, this will give you a quick example of how you can uh, quickly uh, create rules for your website so anyways I hope that, uh, that helped I hope that was not too confusing it's a very simple very quick way of being able to add styles to your website right on the browser without having to save anything locally on your computer uh, and still be able to uh, do pretty much everything that you would do with the local style sheet but this time do it on your browser okay so thank you for watching I hope that was helpful thank you very much